Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Civilization 6. Um, yeah, I've been thinking a lot and hard about this. I think I'm gonna go with, it, with, this, with this. I'm gonna make a city down there and make an aqueduct for that one. And I'm gonna send this guy up here, I think. Settle there. And then I might build another town up there and aqueduct that one. Possibly build another town out here. Possibly another town out there. That depends very much on, um, yeah, on settler costs and all that kind of stuff. For now, this one. I just, there's too much good terrain there to not uh, secure. Can we see any war cards? No. I'm not going to move from this one. Stay right there. I'm not sure where the heck his war cards are, and that kind of terrifies me. He'll make peace eventually. Okay, so I really want to like, build start building a wonder as well, but uh, that's gonna have to be on this square, I think, because that one I kind of reserved for a uh, district. Yeah, we'll have to see, and I also need more settlers. Need to grab everything. Okay, some barbarian camp spawned somewhere in the world. Those who in quarrels interpose must often wipe a bloody nose. Okay, military training. Uh, it's not change anything here. You still wait for the gold. It's gonna be ninety gold if I want the iron mine. Archer, you can go there and fire at the scouts. And that means we can probably kill him if he doesn't die. He died. Excellent. Then you can wait another turn. That's fine. You can wait as well. Cairo needs housing. Yeah, we're going to deal with that eventually. You, on the other hand... You're a bit too small to build a settler, really. Even though I really want to just grab as much territory as possible. Um, build that ancient walls. Just in case. If we lose this, he could march straight up for us. I don't know. It could happen. Buenos Aires. Yes. We're definitely going to start envying Buenos Aires. Gonna explore the icy waters there. Uh, Unit needs orders. Builder there. Right. Did we want the marble or the silk? Yeah, it looks like the silk. And you just heal up. See, there was an encampment. There they are. It was around here. I knew, that, I knew there was one. You. Stay right there. You were gonna pursue. Right, there was a spearman that retreated. I'm gonna send him back to help clear the barbarian encampment and get the archer over here sooner. Hopefully, Gilgamesh will be willing to make peace at some point. Which is not anytime soon. Oh, damn you, Gilgamesh! Gilgamesh built the Oracle! Ah! Well, that sucks. That really sucks. <sighs> I wanted the oracle. Okay, so what do I build instead then? Um, could build the hanging gardens here now instead. Eleven turns. 
can't mount any of the other things because they have requirements. I mean, growth isn't exactly my favorite, but okay. And probably on the grassland there. Yeah. Let's see. Ten turns. <sighs> and we didn't get anything out of it, did we? We don't get a gold refund, or do you? Can't see anything yet. Maybe it'll happen have next turn. He has a galley up there. Can't do us any harm. <laughs> Can't do anyone any harm. Yeah, you're marching straight for my archer, I know. But does a scout have a zone of control? I have no idea. Let's find out. He could even attack, but... Uh, that would not be a good idea. Fortify there. Uh, move across. I'm gonna see if we can kill this one fast. So, Gilgamesh, you had to build the Oracle, huh? I mean, if I'd looked at the town, I might have even seen you build it. No. Yeah, actually, I would have. Ugh. What about you, Franz? Are you building anything while well, I'm not looking? Uh, not that I can see right away. But you have quite a few more cities. Oh no! Another ship! Um, you're gonna wait. Production first. You built a settler. Good. Found a scout there. Ugh, oh, another barbarian hut there. Boo. Your size 4, you could probably hammer out yet another one. Yeah, do that. Yeah, okay, the bite. Get the iron mine. No, that's 95 now. Okay, next turn. <laughs> you can move into his zone of control, but you can't actually clubber him. The scout could, though. And he would actually win. Okay, you do that then. You would not win. Uh-oh. Well, that could turn out badly. It's going to be there in eight turns. That's good. Uh, actually, move one closer. First. Let's see. If this... We can clear that encampment out. You are healed. There are no units in the area. You can move back, I think. Up on the hill here. Good, now we have range so we can fire on him repeatedly. And we did see a ship in the south here. Yeah, this camp is spawning the ships. I'll have to clear that one out. I got a settler. I really need to get the road going up here. This jungle is just terror to cross. Building towns in the other interior area. Interior air area. Now these towns are would be pretty poor. That town would be pretty good. 
It's gonna take a long time to march there, but you start. Oh, um... You can't take him, can you? No, there's a hill. You, can you reach the camp? You can't. But you can hurt the scout. That's something. Has it been ten turns? No. He probably won't go for peace for a long, long time. And now he's finished building a wonders. So now he'll start building military units, probably. A few more turns to the temple. I just heard the war cart sound. Uh, yep, I heard the war cart sound. Um, well, I am in the most defensible terrain I can have, so... You do that. He's also in defensible terrain. The war cart can move around and clobber the archer. Or clobber this guy. Fairly certain he won't do that. Go there. He could move around and hit my warrior. Do that for now. Oh, I can't. Can I? You would be able to do that. Fine. Clear it. We got a city state from that, and money, and everything. Uh, iron, bye. Get an iron mine. Get a Eureka. Get another Eureka. Um, clear the camp, and kill the uh, scout. Excellent. Okay, so he decided instead of attacking my city down here, he's gonna march straight for my capital or something. That can't be. That isn't good for us. <laughs> mm, yep, yeah, settled for right there. You are being attacked. That's okay. There's another encampment over there. You need to go and deal with that, my friend. This is going to be the Arabian Sea. <laughs> Completely landlocked and we can surround it. Ah, what this war card. That's trouble. Uh, tribal Oh! Oh my! Another tribal village. Excellent. Um, and we completed the Suzerain bonus. Does that mean we actually got... No. Darn it. France is still one ahead. But I really want that from Buenos Aires. I really want that. Um... Sure, start on the monument. Get some culture up and running. This war cart, though. What are you gonna do? Big bad war cart, you. Would you make peace with me now? No. Actually, you would. You had to make peace. Um... No. You will not accept it. It still only has one town. Never mind then. I guess I'll have to try to kill some of your, your some of your units. Ah oh, darn it, this archer should not be on auto move there. You cancel your auto move. This warrior, skin heal. You. Goody hut. No? Cancel. Oh, darn it. Okay, never mind. Next turn you can move. 
because this was this turn, right? And I have an archer here as well. Yeah, if he's gonna attack me from this side, I kind of have to be in the area. Let's see, you want uh, wine and silk, and you're prepared to give me a fair bit of money and open borders. I think I'm okay with that. Sure. He attacked me and he nearly killed my archer, I suspect. And there's the other war cart. Invincibility <laughs> lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Okay, defensive tactics. And is there anything we can get that will boost unit strength versus him? No, nothing. Influence points, production. Yeah, we want this still. Will you destroy the archer? The cart? You actually would. Um, do that. Move him into this zone. My thought there is that now he should move, if he moves there, that'll be in his zone of control. Now we can still attack the archer outright. And that's gonna be painful. I think the archer can survive though. We have... yeah, we're not gonna get the boost here. Just not gonna happen. Let's not just get the tech. Um, and then feudalism. 11 turns, but then we'll switch policies to builders. Because right now we're just all out on uh, settlers. Right, now we have a temple, so I should be able to purchase some apostles. And a second apostle. And after this, we can probably start buying missionaries. We have the two apostles we need. No, I'm gonna wait. We're gonna get our religious building, and I need to see how that affects us. And the archer is gonna move slowly home. The scout's gonna take the hut, which gained us experience. In that case, I wanna protect my archer. Oh, no, my archer, my unit. Um, no, heal actually. The scout can't do any damage. Oh, darn it. Okay, so he's gonna get a free shot on at us. I'll send him over this way. Okay, so he chose to just send his war carts by the sea. Not ideal for us. You know what, you cancel your action, you're gonna promote next turn. Hmm. Yeah, this war cart here, that's the problem. But it didn't didn't look like didn't look like he had many war cards at all. Здравствуйте. Я царь Петр. Достойный правитель, подобный вам, должен ценить все самое изысканное. Любите ли вы искусство подобно мне? Окей, мы знали, что вы там. Привет, Питер. Окей. О, нет, еще карты. Он 
there. Oh my. Yeah, ouch. Ouch, yeah, that was a really good smackdown. Um, <laughs> we would take peace, but uh, not any peace we'd be willing to sign, I think. Try to kill at least one more card. Or at least hurt it. Okay, Apostle, we're gonna go and uh, evangelize belief. The promotions are available, but that doesn't matter right now. I want, I want to improve my faith. And we're gonna do that same thing right away. Scout is ready for promotion, so let's get... Ah, so at this point I think it's better to be protective. So we met the Russians. They have, I assume, met us by sea. So let's send a delegation. Okay, excellent. You are unfriendly with Catherine and unfriendly with someone else as well. You're a westernizer. Friendly if you are ahead in tech, okay. So, how are we doing then? Warmongering, different governments. First impressions. We shall see. Okay, choose beliefs. So now we get to choose a holy building and one of the enhancers. Let's see now. Okay. Um, extra food. We're going to grow faster. Or mosques. You know what? I'm going to go with mosques because uh, as we convert our enemies, I want them to keep spreading our faith, right? So... Yeah, mosques. As for the enhancer, tie this good. It's gonna be a lot of money. Uh, holy side, yeah, that's gonna be a fair bit of faith in the long run. That's gonna be a good bit of money. This could be useful. Campers or commercial district, that could be useful. Of all of these, I'm the most tempted to go with Tithe. I mean, the adjacency bonuses are nice, getting extra faith would be nice, but... So we'd get more and more faith the more we pushed our religion with this one. Which wouldn't be a bad choice. But I kind of want... kind of want that. Hmm. That's even easier though, because then we can do small cities, lots of small cities. That requires cities of size 8 to be equivalent, but size could grow faster than that. Nah, we're gonna go with Tithe, because our, we're also gonna afford housing in our faith, so yeah, let's go with that. That's going to improve our monetary situation rather quickly as well. Uh, yeah, not, not much we can do other than smash 
talking to the enemy here. Oh, he has actually has less movement range. We can actually run away. Well, that's good to know. Kill these, this spearman, so we can clear the camp. Next turn, maybe. Okay, so he's definitely not going to attack our weak point there. But he is going to do a number on our units here. Let's try again. No. And there's nothing that would make you agree, actually. Uh, never mind. Yeah, there is nothing that he would take for peace. I can't buy a unit. Kyth Ky Cairo is a bit weak, especially against this. Um, we're gonna move that unit in. You... Uh, move into Mecca at the very least. How far away is this spearman? Too far away. Okay, let's see. You're gonna kill my archer. Darn it. But that was the archer I wanted to keep. No! Remarkably enough, it didn't kill the archer. The archer is nearly dead now, though. There is nothing but a plank between a sailor and eternity. That sounds ominous. Okay, so... You can attack, but that's... I have four movement. Four! So even if I try to retreat, he would actually be able to get me. If I go here, he'll be able to go there and still smash me. Or will he? No, that's three movement cost tile. So they wouldn't be able to do that if I run away. So I'm gonna run away. You could potentially kill the war cart here. But then you'd be very exposed from the other war cart. Let's do it. Let's try. Oh, he survives just barely. Um, you could move forward, but that would be kind of suicidal. Let's move into the hills here. I think we're gonna be okay here. Then you're gonna kill me next turn. Okay, go and heal up, send, send, sail home, heal up, then, then we're gonna go and kill you. Money and lots of ships out there. Quadrireams, uh oh. He's gonna fire at my poor archer. Now we have lots of text to research. I really want to get to printed ship though. Industrial zones are just so good. So good. Uh, all the other text though. They're so cheap. So... Do you like that, maybe? Hmm... Oh yeah, um, holy buildings. Can I buy a mosque? Yes, I can. So let's see here now. Thirteen food. You have four science. What was boosted again? It was science and it was faith. Science, faith, and culture. What do you say? All Arabian cities. So... 2.8... 3.4. 
Well, let's go for a holy building here. Okay, 10% from religious building. And nothing here. Yeah, okay, so you need holy sites in every city to actually get benefits from that. Now I know. Alright, you need to build the temple first. That's okay, we're gonna get there. Do I want you to build another settler? I do, actually. I'm very settler hungry. Very settler hungry. But that's probably gonna be the last settler I start. So now I'm less fearful of a card attack here. If that. Th those two cards could be the only two units he had, actually. At least the only two units he had ready to go. That would be very good news for us. Hey, this card's gonna get a name. The Dragon Apes. And now I could actually go and explore the seas. Come to think of it. We're gonna have to settle in this area next, because he can come across here, apparently. And he probably will. As soon as he has the chance to. That one is nearly dead. I should hope that will weaken his attack. Uh, the dragon apes? No. The spearman there. Um, I want you to move up here, so we should probably move along the road. The dragon apes can't do anything. Stay right there. Need to kill that scout. Well, that didn't take long. I think you're a warmonger. Yes, I am, but uh, I'm not that evil. Okay, that's... Ah, oh, oh, darn it, he got a promotion. Arg. That is very bad news for our poor warrior. And our archer is going to be bombarded into pieces. Dang it. Ah, dang it. Did we find a tribal village again? My goodness. Um, I'm gonna have to kill this scout. Start smacking him down. I might have to change my plans for research. Actually, machinery requires engineering and ironworking anyway, so... Can you fire from here? You can! And now we get a promotion out of it. Yeah, you can't do anything at all. You could move... Is that a wood? Three defensive modifier. Okay, move into the woods there. I can attack next turn. So now, so if I hadn't attacked him, he would not have gained as much of a bonus. And now he has a warrior coming in here. This guy is dead. This guy is toast. That's just how it's gonna be. So, try to fortify until healed. And the spearman is going to come over there and rescue you, maybe. You are sailing home to heal. Losing that... that was rather annoying, losing that unit. Yeah, we're going to make an envoy with Buenos Aires. That's definitely going to change our amenity situation around. 
Gilgamesh. No, he won't have peace under any circumstances. Well, that's okay. I can kind of understand why. I can't go on the on the offensive until I have machinery and crossbowmen. I'm just going to save up money for that. So we're probably going to send our units... I think I'm going to send my units south here and clear that barbarian encampment because... I don't think we can do much towards Rook anytime soon. And we shall see. For now, though, time for a short break, and we will see if we can hold back against the invading hordes later. Thank you for watching.